channel or YouTube. My mountains are more again. And tonight I'm going to be testing an absolute beast of a torch. So a few videos back, I did an overview of the Wizlux Lori 2, the Lanshan 2 copy that's bigger, but I never got a chance to test it out. So I'm taking this out of me tonight to see what it's like. And after that last video, I fed back to them that realistically for this country, and probably most of Europe, you'd want to have some kind of a four season inner, something a bit more solid than total mesh. And also the positioning of the pockets which weren't ideal. It's like bang in the middle of the tent at the foot and the head end. So they have taken that on board and they are redesigning it, making a four season version and sending it out to me. It's not done yet. Obviously it's been Chinese New Year. So now they're back from their holidays. They're gonna get that made and sent out. So I will test it out again because I think it's gonna be a good tent. Well, I got here later than I'd hoped today. So um, I'm probably gonna miss this lovely sunset behind me by the time I get set up for camp, which we'll see I'm not too far now. Fingers crossed, but it's a beautiful evening, but it is forecast to be absolutely horrible in the morning, which is always good. Nothing better than packing away in the pouring rain. So I've pretty much missed the sunset that's behind me over there. Um, so I can't move to pitch up the top to try and catch the rest of it. But I found a nice spot down here. It's quite secluded, tucked away. That'll be me, so I'll get this tent up. Right, so I didn't show me setting the tent up because you've seen that before on the previous video, but it went up pretty straightforward, no issues. But yeah, the um, torch that I've got tonight, it's not, a, it's not a huge torch. You know, it's bigger than your normal everyday carry camping torch, but it's not massive. And it, it is the, the Sofern IF30. Now this is a sort of a multi-use torch. So some torches will do a long beam, others will do a wide spread. This does both. Um, you can see in the top here, it's got a central LED and then a row of LEDs around the outside of it. Now, when it is on flood, this will do 12,000 lumens and you can have it on flood and spot at the same time. So you can have either or spot, flood or spot and flood. Um, it's, it locks automatically. So it's not going to turn on, it just flashes to tell you it's not working. And to turn it on, you just turn the dial here and you get a brief overview of the battery power. And then that switches it on. So it's got a sort of stepless brightness mode. So you just turn that dial and it gets brighter and brighter and brighter. And it's seamless. And then if you double click it, it goes down to low lumens triple click it and you've got strobe and then you've got turbo um when it's it was <laughs> it always defaults back to the <coughs> it always defaults back to the last setting you had it at so i will turn that right down because it's blinding and it's on uh, uh, the high beam at the moment so when it's on high beam if you press and hold it it will then change to the flood. Well, that's beam and flood. And press and hold it again, it's just flood. So it just scrolls through those options. Beam, beam and flood, just flood. And then if you leave it for 15 seconds, it switches off. When it's on floodlight mode, on 12,000 lumens, the beam is 178 meters. When you put it on spotlight mode, it's only on two and a half thousand lumens max, but it goes 685 meters. So tonight should be a good night for testing this out. It is a Type-C USB-C rechargeable, and it's also got reverse charging. So this will actually charge your mobile phone if you put a USB-C to USB-C or Lightning, whichever phone you've got, um, then it will also charge your phone so you can use it as an emergency power bank. It is IPX8 waterproof, and it is one meter drop resistant. 
I've got the usual suspects tonight. I've got my Thermrest Neo Air X Therm Max Large uh, sleep mat. I've got my uh, Flextail pillow and I've done the my pillow hack. So I've got my um, Montane Prism jacket rolled up in there with the bag inflated underneath it. So it just makes for a nice, thick, high, comfortable pillow. And I will thank Scott for that uh, that tip because he did give it to me. And moans I never mention. Never mention him because he's never here. Um, Flames Creed quilt. I've also got my Aegis Max sleeping bag liner. Again, may or may not use that tonight. Yeah, I think it'll probably get a bit cold because this is all mesh. My pack is out in the vestibule on that side. And then all my junk down the bottom. Dinner tonight, I've got a pot noodle. King, a couple of beers. Got a golden syrup Quaker Oats for breakfast. And I'll wait for a chocolate pudding as well for after dinner, maybe. Might have it, might not. I've got one of my brew company uh, coffee bags. So I'm gonna have one of those in the morning. I've also got one of my usual little cappuccino Kenko duos and a little flask of Jack Daniels honey. So yeah, that's me all set up for the night. I'm going to get some water on now and uh, crack a beer open, start cooking some food. Cooking some food. Boiling some water for a pot noodle. I forgot how good pot noodles are. I do like them. Reminds me of childhood. I think the first time I ever went, not camping, but me and some mates sort of uh, had this woodlands near us and we used to make camps in there, not sleep over there, but we used to bring pot noodles along, make a fire, boil some water, pretend we were wilderness survivors. So yeah, enjoying it. It's actually just started to rain a little bit, which is annoying because I'm going to go out and test this torch in a minute in the pitch black. So uh, it seems to die down actually, so fingers crossed it'll be all right because it's nice and dark now and it was clear as well so it'll be a good test of the torch well so much for showing you the torch in a true Dartmoor fashion I've just gone outside and it is now thick fog so you can't see more than 20 feet in front of you um, I did do a little snippet earlier on with um, my phone which I sent to someone who's interested in the torch so I'll put that up now but what I will do is I will do a separate little video uh, in another night uh, when it's clear and I'll add it into this video to show you what it's like. Boom. Flood. Spot. Flood and spot. Best of both worlds. Lowest level setting. Hi Bean. Right, I don't know how much of me you can see now. Uh, this is a couple of nights later and I'll come out to a field near me and I'll show you what this torch is like. So I'm going to start off on low power, I'm going to walk away from the camera so you can hopefully see what it looks like from a distance. So this is the lowest setting on the spotlight and the lowest setting on flood and spotlight and then just flood only. So if I go back to flood and spot and then go straight up to full power that is insane so I can see a good 250 yards across the other side of that field it's about 150 180 yards to the end here so if I drop this onto flood only, yeah, it easily lights up the end of the field. And then just on the beam only, which is the one that goes to 685 meters. But beam and flood is absolutely insane. This thing is lighting up this entire field, which is probably about four acres, five acres. Blind the camera. And 
mad beam. So the end of the video didn't finish quite how I wanted it, uh, but obviously I got out in the dark and hopefully that shows you how bright that torch really, really is. I love the adaptability of it, the fact that you can have it as a spotlight beam torch or a flood or both. Um, and walking down to where I went uh, last night with that torch, um, there were some real tight sort of little narrow bushed uh, areas and it was like daylight going through there with it. So it, it really is a good torch. I'm incredibly impressed with it. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, I will have a discount code because there is going to be a discount code for my viewers on this channel. Um, and if there is, I'll put that in the description below and I'll also put a link on there as to where you can buy it from. Anyway, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.